Good morning guys, this video is going to be talking about a clock that yours truly is getting for his birthday. Uh, I have another one of these, except it's at my mother's house, and I don't get down there very much. So, here's this. I was able to find it in the 1940 Seth Thomas catalog. And here it is, really pretty. Well, there's two different things. Roxbury Electric with self-starting electric motor. Westminster Chime Movement. This uses the Sangamo motor. Some of you have probably heard of this. If you have a Sid Thomas that's old enough to have one. They made that motor till the late 1940s. And then they started using the M4 motor, which is a good motor too, but that's all subject. Anyway, $37.50 in 1940. The particular one I'm getting is from 1942. February of 1942 to be exact. So it may have cost more, it may have cost less, I don't know. I can't find the 1942 catalog. I'll read what it says about it here. American walnut with barrel panels on front. Five and one half inch silver plated dial. That's a pretty big dial. Easy to read. Silver plated dial having applies, applied raised bronze numerals. Die cast sash gold plated and brushed quarter hour chime. These chime marks sound wonderful by the way. It's nine and a half inches with twenty and a half inches thickness six and a half inches back singly approximately approx shipping weight thirteen pounds. It's not light, it's solid. And thirty seven dollars and fifty cents in twenty twenty four money without being adjusted for inflation. Is eight hundred and ten dollars and sixty nine cents. This was not a cheap clock, <laughs> so you fear. And then while I am on this page, I will show you the Ludberry too, which I have seen in a video, and it was slightly cheaper. But and then you have the Midberry. Is similar yet, but less fancy. Obviously, the cheapest tambour on the page. And okay, there is that. And I hope you enjoy this. I'll give you a closer look here. This beautiful clock. And while I'm at it, let me. If I can't pull that clock up on eBay where you can see it, uh, let's see. Let's see. This will take me a minute to figure this out. Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, well, if this thing will cooperate, I'll get there. Well, I'm trying. Here it is. Yeah. Let me click on this. It took me a minute. Sorry about that. Alright. Well. Ooh, here it is. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. 
Sorry about the soul thing in front of it. I can't do anything about that, but at least you can still see it. Yep. I'm going to enjoy this one. It says the chimes don't work, and I messaged the seller asking if they wound the mainsprings. They replied it's electric. This particular clock has two mainsprings in it. Two little bitty mainsprings and barrels. And they're rather unconventional. They have a brace on them. Where you can set it to different settings you can't get an exact one. But it's what it does when it gets wound to a certain tension. It slips around the outside of the barrel instead of being fully wound. Where it doesn't put too much pressure on the motor. So, very smart. And it has the original winding key with it too. Which, let me find it. That thing. A lot of times that gets lost. So I'm glad it has it. Which, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.